I'm Randall Berg. My company is LoveThatYacht.com. I'm known as the concierge yacht broker. I've been selling yachts for well over 20 years. Probably have completed more than a thousand transactions. Yachting is my passion. Uh, I got involved when I was very young, uh, in my teens. My father bought a boat for the family. I've loved being on the water and I hopefully you'll get the same enjoyment. This video is about why buy a boat, why buy a yacht, why go to the expense, the learning, the ongoing process of maintaining the boat. Why do people do that? Well, it's really a passion. It's in your blood. And it's one of the few areas in the world where you can be totally independent. There are very few roads when you're on a boat, uh, very few speed limits once you get away from the main arteries and the intercoastal waterways in your harbor. So this gives you a lot of freedom to do what you want to do. You can turn the boat, you can power it up, you can spin it, you can stop it. In Fort Lauderdale, most of Florida, you can drop anchor most any place and spend the night. There's no law against that. So in these little coves and backwaters all over Florida, there's people have dropped anchor for the night or a week or months even. People transiting, coming from Europe and, and want to visit. So they drop anchor in Fort Lauderdale near the Bahia Mar uh, Marina or in Pompano Beach and, or in Coral Ridge area where there's a Coral Ridge Yacht Club and there's a huge back uh, channel bay back there in the harbor. So um, it, you just drop anchor and you turn on some music and you get out your wine or beer or best juice drink or pick up a book or just jump in the water and frolic around. You can have a, uh, a swim step party and your food right there and your friends are there. There's a lot of shallow areas where you can uh, drop anchor in, uh, in uh, three foot of water where people congregate hundreds of boats and it's one giant party. So certainly you can enjoy boating that way. However, the real thrill of boating is taking the boat offshore. And we're lucky in Florida because you have dozens and dozens of islands you can get to. Bimini is only 40 miles away from Miami. And so from Fort Lauderdale on a fast boat, it's a two to three hour ride. From Miami, it's a two hour ride, or it could be less depending on what you're driving. Uh, and from there, there's, you just head south. And there's plenty of islands. There's Grenada and St. Lucia and St. Kitts and Puerto Rico. And of course, there's Cuba and on and on and on. And island hopping is just a passion and a, and a way of life. Um, it doesn't have to be an extraordinarily expensive yacht. You can get yourself a $80,000 80s vintage trawler with a single du dual small diesel engines that sips gas. And you slowly meander your way all through the islands and south, and maybe to Central or South America, maybe to Cozumel or the Riviera side of Mexico. Or you can get a little more elaborate, get an aft cabin motor yacht, and you can spend weeks and weeks on that because you've got a great aft cabin, a great sun deck, great galley, great salon, a fantastic flybridge, lots of space and room in that boat. And for $150,000, you can get a nice Carver or California or something like that. And then if you want to up your game to the bigger boats, of course, they're the Sun Seekers and they're the Azimuths and there's the Hatteras's and they're the fishing boats like the Vikings. And they're all fantastic boats depending on what you enjoy, what you like. If you have a passion for sport fishing, you get a Flybridge motor yacht. I happen to have quite a few for sale. And blast around and catch fish. You have a live bait well, you have underwater lights at night to draw up you know, fish from underneath or in a harbor, it's all lit up around the boat. They have great galleys, great room inside. Uh, you'll have a satellite TV system so you can watch TV uh, any place offshore. And sat phones are now so good that they're relatively inexpensive and you can communicate hundreds of miles offshore or even crossing the Atlantic or Pacific with your satellite phones. But cell phone service is pretty good within about 40 or 50 miles of the mainland or one of the islands. So if you're island hopping, you'll probably have cell service pretty much all the way across from island to island. Boats are a passion. Some people see them as extensions of their backyards. And so they're just partying with friends a lot on the boat and use it locally. Other people like to really explore. They can do the Great Loop, which is heading north and going through the waterways and make a great big loop and come down through the Gulf and then go through the Okeechobee back to Florida or south through the Keys 
and come back up. That's the Great Loop. They can uh, travel north into the northeast, and they go to Sag Harbor and and the Grand, Great Banks. You can go to Nova Scotia and, and gunk hole all the way up and down. Enjoy yourself. Of course, there's the intercoastal. You don't have to go offshore. We're blessed in the east coast because you have the intercoastal waterway, and it protects you from massive weather conditions. There's some speed restrictions, but it's a great venture no matter what. If you like fast, you can buy a really fast boat, like a cigarette boat or a fountain or something like that, and do 50, 60, 70, 80 miles an hour and blast around, have fun. If you want that style boat in a bigger platform to travel in it, you can get a Mangusta like, or a Leopard 88 or Mangusta 105. And then, of course, there are the super yachts, which are the Westport 112s, 130s, um, the big Johnson 87s or 10, 108s, which have forward cabins on deck. Extraordinary yachts. So there's now, plenty of boats to pick from depending on your budget. So boating is a passion. It gets in your blood. You just have to have this boat. And if you manage expenses well and you get good prices for dockage and you look for good fuel, prices and you have a good insurance policy, it's a very enjoyable and relatively inexpensive way to be on the water. Like any hobby, there's an expense, but usually boat owners accept that because they want that. It's in their blood. They have to get on the water and smell the salt air and see the animals frolicking around and cruising along the water with the white bubbles slithering past your hull and feeling the rhythm of the water. So that's why people buy boats. It could be a sailboat, I'm primarily talking about power boats, but it definitely could be a sailboat, be a catamaran, it could be a houseboat. And there's ocean going houseboats, is like Blue Waters, which are great offshore boats, and they travel all over the Caribbean. But the Blue Water has the advantage that it looks and feels like a yacht, has a monster flybridge, and you can beach them. It's made to go run up on the sand, throw your anchor line around a tree, and spend a week right there, and then release the anchor from the tree and back up and take off and go to another one. So lots of things to do in boats. So I'm Randall Berg with LoveThatYacht.com, your concierge yacht broker. Reach out to me, call me, let's talk about your needs, let's find what you want, let's get the financing in place and help you buy a boat. Have a great day.